Hello, and welcome to Sonoma Strong Healing Fair's online event. I am Diana Borges, one of the co-founders of Sonoma Strong Healing Fair's, along with Sherry Petrioli. And for today's session, we want to make sure that you have materials to draw with. So paper, pencils, colored pencils. Um, if you don't have those now, um, take this time before our speaker comes on to get those. And I want to let you know that this uh, session is being recorded and will be put on our YouTube channel for access. Um, I ask that if you have any questions during the recording to put it into the chat. And if you don't know how to do that, if you go down to the bottom of the screen, if you're using a computer, click on the little chat button and then over to the right, you can type in uh, any questions or comments. And after the recording is done, we will open it up for free discussions. So th this is our first online Sonoma Strong Healing Fair event, but we've held three previous in-person events with the first one starting in 2017 when the wildfires came through Sonoma County and a couple of the other uh, surrounding areas. Um, myself and Sherry, we are located in Sonoma County and we have had um, the Sonoma Strong Healing Fairs has been an annual event um, ever since the, the tub fire came through our area. I would like to share with you now our contact information. So on the screen, you can see our mission statement. And then at the bottom uh, is our website, sonomastronghealingfair.com. You can contact Sherry or myself at info at sonomastronghealingfair.com. We have our Facebook page, Sonoma Strong Healing Fair. And uh, right now, um, we have Sonoma Strong Healing Fairs YouTube channel where all of these recordings are being um, stored. And you can access, uh, easy access is through our uh, website, Sonoma Strong Healing Fair. So in response to uh, our current situation of the COVID-19, the sheltering place, we uh, decided to hold this online event to assist you with um, this process, uh, understanding, healing, um, and your growth. Uh, every day in April, we have been hosting a uh, presenter, either doing a group healing session, an exercise class, or a talk about um, how to stay healthy and understand what you're going through. So today, um, we are honored to have all the way from Germany, Petra Her Herovich, um, who is going to be leading us through a guided intuitive drawing workshop and a meditation. So I turn this over to Petra now. Thank you for joining us. Hello and welcome everybody. I would like to first do a guided meditation with you and afterwards I will explain a little bit about it an intuitive drawing session and then it's free, free flow creativity. So I invite you to close your eyes and take a deep breath. And just relax your body completely. Connect to your body and your sense of self. Connect to the comforting heaviness of the earth holding you gently. And just relax since you know there is nothing that you have to do right now. Right now, all is well. So feel your whole body, your skin, and how your senses take in all that is around you. And now, just gently place your attention on your heart. And relax into the knowing that your heart is pure intelligence. This part of you knows exactly what you need, 
where you go in life and how incredibly perfect you are exactly like you are. No matter what is going on in your life right now and in the world. Take another few deep breaths in and out. And now, just gently ask your heart to show you what was hidden before. To show you your fullest and freest creative expression. To show you what you're now ready to see from inside. What you're ready to feel and what you're ready to release. Nothing more, nothing less. Ask your heart to guide you to tap into your purest imagination that is always inside of you. Your own unique version of the life path your highest life path and your highest version of this planet that you always dreamed of. That version of yourself and your life and your planet that you can now playfully and freely draw or write however you want. There is nothing you have to do all is welcome. You will be shown exactly what you need to see and feel. Just embrace everything that comes up. And now slowly come back to the room. Ideally, you have two sheets of paper in front of you. During the drawing session, you can, if you feel like, play some music in the background when you mute it, or just draw in silence. There is a part of you that remembers this playful freedom and this lightness and this causeless joy of the child within of your childhood creativity. So I invite you to now use one sheet of paper to go and draw or write your limitless dreams and visions of your preferred reality and how that feels. Nobody tells you how that is supposed to look like, whether it's colors or words or symbols or whatever. Nobody will see what you draw unless you want that. And just know that the power of focused intention, especially in a group, especially when you work with your hands and let the feelings be felt fully, this power is just undescribable and without limits. And the second sheet of paper is for you whenever you feel blocked, whenever you feel stuck, emotions come up, whenever you might have a limiting belief that comes up, whatever that might be. If you feel that during your drawing, just switch to the second sheet of paper and draw it out there however it wants to be drawn out. You're totally free in that. And if you want to sing or cry, or express yourself in any way you want to while drawing, because a lot might come to the surface that was blocked before. Just do that. Allow yourself to be free in your creative expression. Just as you were when you were a child.
you can release so much and you can create so much through a process like this. So enjoy. Enjoy seeing what your heart wants to tell you. And I will just stay with you in silence and in between checking with you for the rest of the session. And just notice why you draw, how you might allow certain emotions and suppress others. Just allow yourself to express and feel whatever comes through with the current situation. You might suddenly feel that there's anger coming up or irritation or fear or sadness. And that is exactly how it's supposed to be. Honor yourself by honoring all emotions that come up. Just give them a voice. Let them just flow through yourself and people. Just intuitively give them a color or a symbol or a shape or a word.
You might also notice when feelings of self-judgment or limiting beliefs come up, like this is not beautiful enough, I don't know what to draw, I'm not good enough, or something like that, maybe. Notice that these things are ready to show themselves to you. You can use the second sheet of paper to just write them out, draw them out, release them also. And just practice giving yourself permission to do whatever you want to do. And just honor yourself in that way. If you want to pause, pause. If you want to draw a certain way, just do it. Follow every in, every single impulse that you get. This is self-care.
and slowly come back. Wherever you are in your process, you can continue anytime afterwards or at another time. I really recommend you to um, use this whenever you feel um, tension, stuck emotions, fear, anger, whatever comes up. Um, I really recommend you use that or also when you want to tap into your preferred reality. This process of intuitive drawing or writing um, is so powerful. It's not only super good for your health, your immune system to rebalance your whole central nervous system and many um, of stuck like energy can be released through that. It is really incredible how the power of focused intention in combination with felt emotion and um, creative work with your hands can shape your reality. So if at any point you feel like joining more workshops like these that I guide with uh, rotating topics, um, feel free to join and have a look at my Patreon space where I will do that uh, a couple of times per month. I will just share my screen real quick to show you the link. So the link is um, patreon.com slash my name, Petra Haverock, which is not so easy to spell, it's check, I-N-G-L. It was a pleasure having you, ladies. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you, yeah, you're just honoring yourself and your well being in these times as best you can. That was wonderful. That was really as I don't draw <laughs> and that that was good and it's all such happy positive peaceful things that went on paper and like I, I know I don't draw it's just like the there was some more weight that was just lifted wonderful so, yeah that's that exactly was, what it's good for yeah that that was really good I I've tried this before, so thank you so much. As I was doing this and I was listening to you, um, I was thinking about all of the kids out there that are stuck home, right? Because they can't be in school with their friends. And this is such a wonderful thing for kids to, mm -hmm. um, to a way to deal with their emotions. Right? Absolutely. So this is beautiful, Petra. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, very much appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate what you do as well, guys. It's Me great. Too. Okay, so um, yeah, that was great. My name is Sherry Pedrioli, and I am the founder of Holistic Choices Incorporated and the co-founder of Sonoma Strong Healing Fair. Sonoma Strong Healing Fair and Holistic Choices are nonprofit organizations that provide free um education, healing fairs, uh, chapters in compilation books, all to continue to assist our communities all over the world. Um, no matter if it's a catastrophic event or just life. So people need to know that there's, that they have choices out there and there's many, many tools. Um, so for more information about our nonprofit and how we can continue, because it takes your donations to, to support this, um, please visit our website, sonomastronghealingfair.com or choicesbookseries.com. You'll find out a little bit more about the, um, 
the nonprofit. And I am actually going to share my screen real quick. Again, um, bringing in what Diana did our, in the beginning, um, our mission and how to get a hold of us with SonomaStrongHealingCare.com. The uh, Diana and myself can be reached at uh, info at SonomaStrongHealingCare.com. And of course, we have our Facebook pages. And yeah, like Diana said, we are hosting this all month long. So we are almost at the end of April. And tomorrow, I think we're doing, oh, we're back to tomorrow night. So tomorrow night, we have um, uh, Peter Swan, MD, talking about uh, improving immune function and health. Uh, and then the following night, we have another lecture. So just this information is up on our website and on our Facebook page. So please feel free to take a look. And once again, thank you, Petra. Really appreciate it. And thank everybody else for joining us. Sherry? Yeah. I'd like to add um, the list of the speakers. Actually, uh, there's an additional one. Oh, so, right. yeah. Lean will be tomorrow morning at 830 leading an exercise program. So. Oh, did I miss that? It, no, it's uh, that's an old list that uh, she was added afterwards. So okay. at 8.30 in the morning, Lean will be doing, um, she's a biomechanics, a trainer, I believe. And she will be doing um, uh, feel good exercises for all ages type of a thing. That's right. We were talking about that right before. See, I already lost my mind. So <laughs> anyway, and we actually have some other changes that are coming up. So we'll try and keep you posted. Um, there, there has been a couple changes. So pay attention to the Facebook pages. Right now, I think that's primarily where most of our information is gonna be the most accurate. Um, I'll try and get emails out, but anyway, and if you have any questions, like I said, please feel um, free to reach out to Diana and myself. So again, thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing you again.